Now that we know how to create all of the external components of a house or building or structure, uh, let's talk about how to put in some things that make it more fun, some components. So let's go to our first floor view. And we have a little bit of an underlay with the second floor. Let's see if we can't take that off. So... Where do I see underlay? Underlay is set to none. And yet I still see it here. Oh well. We'll not worry about it. Um, let's create some kind of living space. And right now we have a front door. I'm thinking with the front door you'd probably want some kind of a living room area. So let's make let's make a wall in here. here and we'll end up having some kind of a uh, a guest room off to the side we'll modify the size of that in just a bit um, but what do you say we put in some kind of a kitchen here we're going to go into architecture and let's just grab component. And the default component it gives me is a light, but we don't want a light. Let's put in something that belongs in a kitchen. So how about a uh, dishwasher sounds good. We'll start with that. So let's grab a dishwasher. We'll place it over here. You know what? We can make that into a laundry room. I'll make it smaller and a bathroom even better and here let me undo that for just a second let's talk about what happens when you uh, or the reason why you'd put things in different places in a house uh, typically especially here in the Midwest you're not gonna have any of your water lines sharing a same wall as the outside of your house or you're gonna try to avoid it because in the winter time when things freeze uh, pipes can break and you don't want that kind of a mess inside your house so right now we have a single dishwasher here and I don't know what exactly that looks like so let's uh, let's shrink that down for a second and grab one of my cameras and just take a quick snapshot to see how this dishwasher is oriented and yep it looks like my dishwasher is not facing the right way at all. Not at all. Okay. Let's go into view. And let's make a tiled view. So here I can kind of see what's going on inside the house. Here I can play with uh, how things are oriented. So here I have this selected. If I hit my space bar, apparently it jumps to different sides of the wall. That's no good. Let's pull it away from the wall a little bit. There we go. That's actually what I wanted. Let's have it linked up over here. Eh. We'll leave a little space for a cabinet here. And some counter space. And let's put some kind of a sink next to it. I'm sure we have some kind of sink. Ooh, a range. Let's throw a range in. Oh, I just changed the type. That's okay. Go back, make sure that's a dishwasher. Click off to the side, so now it's set. Now we can go back in and architecture, components. Now let's grab something else. And last thing I think I said was range. So let's grab a range. Gas line's okay to have up next to the house. No problems there. Where did that camera go? Let's see if we can't just 
drag our border here. Oh, there's our camera. Hello, camera. I should be able to uh, click and drag this around a little bit so I can see what all I'm working with. By clicking spacebar a couple times, I can move my stovetop around. And once you have things in here, you can kind of move them at will. Let's go and put the dishwasher all the way on the end. That'll be all right. And let's move the stove just a little further down the wall here. We have a little bit of a tight space. Let's go back into components. Let's drop in some kind of a sink. What do we have? We have a countertop with a sink hole. Do we just have a regular sink? Looks like we may not. Oh, well, there's a kitchen double sink. That'll look nice. Let's drop that into one of these guys. That was under countertop, right? We have a nice little L-shaped countertop. Spacebar, spacebar. And uh, this countertop seems awfully large, so I can just click and drag it. Oop. Apparently not that far, though. Let's move this out of the way for just a second. There we go. Uh, we just have an opening here. So let's go back in a component. Let's find that double sink we just had. See if we can drop that right into place. And I can tell right away that's off. Okay, as you can tell here from my camera, the uh, counters are empty underneath, so I'm going to need to put something in there. If I go back under architecture again, I can grab a component. Let's get one of these lower cabinets. Upper cabinets are nice, but we want just the uh, the lower cabinets for now. And this one's for a sink unit, so that should be good. I'm not sure which one of these we want. Yeah, let's just grab one. Let's see what happens. If I center it up right under the sink here, that looks pretty good. Looks a little short though. Doesn't actually let me click on components in this view. There it goes. Let's see what we can do about modifying that. So if I go edit type Currently, it looks a little short, so let's change the height from uh, two foot five all the way up to three feet. Three feet is too high. Let's change the height down to uh, two feet eleven inches. That's a little bit closer. We'll call it 2 feet 10 inches. That looks about right. Okay. You know what? 
we put that one in backwards too. Oh, that's looking good. We need some cabinets to go under this side. Same kind of thing. Yeah, let's wait on that. Let's grab some upper cabinets, double doors, 39 inches across. And we will drop those here. Here. And we'll just keep going across if it lets us. And it's giving me a little bit of an issue. Let's see if it'll let me use the move tool. I may have to cancel out of the screen first. There we go. And butt those up right next to each other. And let's see if we can drop one more in place right here. It looks a little bit wide, so let's go from 39 inch down to 36 inch. 36 is still a little big. Let's go down to 33 then. There we go. Alrighty, so now we have upper cabinets, we have our one lower cabinet, we have a stove, we have a dishwasher. Let's see if we can put in some more counter space. And I think you guys kind of get the idea of all this. I want you, before uh, I run out of time here and before you run out of time, I want you to take this house structure that we have. First off, um, get me a shot of this. I want everyone to have the same kitchen layout that I do right now in this particular picture. So get a printout of this 3D view and actually let's make that a little bit of a fisheye view if you click on it you can get your little grab bars and pull it all the way out so I can see that you have the dishwasher in there as well okay so give me a screenshot of this with the dishwasher included the countertop the under sink cabinets, the sink, the stove, and the upper cabinets here, right next to your windows. And then, after you get that printed off, I want you to go through and furnish the rest of the house as you see fit. This needs a washer and dryer. It needs sofas. I want a TV somewhere. Uh, you need bathrooms. So, account for all of those things. Play around a little bit with this and make me a new screenshot of the first floor and the second floor. And the quiz will just be over what we covered in this particular video, which is a lot of the uh, placing components, rotating components, changing between things. But I want you to play around and see what all Revit has to offer. So good luck with that, and I'm looking forward to seeing it.